Hey everybody, Kratos Lucina here, and today we're rolling the Cornet D1. This was a uh, prototype uh, that was developed for the Russian Ministry of Defense as a uh, an anti-tank missile carrier to support the Russian airborne troops. And while the project eventually saw a, uh, a you know a built model um, in this game all they had at the time was the overall concept of it a bit it's based on the BMD 4M chassis and there was a lot of, you know, is it going to look like this? Is it going to look like that? And so this is more of a, you know, an extrapolation of the concept. And like, I uh, Outside of its, what seems like rather bulky vertical appearance, what can see me? Uh, it's not bad. I've only driven it a few times. Uh, the missile boat part of it uh, really kind of, uh, it doesn't hurt it. But it makes it less than idea, ideal, especially when the turrets can't go more than a certain, I don't know, I guess degree off, you know, off center. Come on. Got him. All right. Like in this game, you really got to play your cards right. And it might cost you half your missile rack to take down an enemy. Unless you're just, you know, mopping up someone else's mess. Yep, see, I'm going to go down quick. And then it's going to spawn me right... Oh, okay. It's going to say it's going to spawn me right where it's like the most inconvenient. <laughs> Just kind of running for my life there. Are you kidding me? Can you not? Somebody kill that thing, jeez. Oh, hey, now you get to see the reload, which is this big, elaborate, folding, unfolding, sliding trap doors nonsense going on. Uh, 
I just kind of got to sit here and do nothing for a bit. There we go. All right. Oh, who can see me? All right, put an end to him. Ah, what is going on here? Or even am I? All right. All these things with these monster guns on them. What's going on? Yellow one's going to get beat up by a crab. I don't know where that Merkava went. I hope it gets spotted, you know, over there with the uh, rest of the mess. Come on, man. Oh, there's the Merkava. What are you doing, guy? Come on. Appreciate it. Idiot. Alright, so, yep, I was going to say it's, it's an officer that's stuck over there, probably. Boom! Got him. <laughs> oh, that was a tough play, and I was on my last respawn. That was... So, while it's good, I don't know, missile-wise, you know, you're doing over a 1,000 on your hits, unless it's off, and then you're only going to get, like, 150. But it's good, but the problem is, is it's really bad at being in missions where the sight lines are really short. 
it really it it's really beneficial if you when you drop with it you get a mission where you have really long sight lines that the enemy also isn't going to spawn on top of you because that really puts a damper on things whenever you think you've got a good spot and all of a sudden 10 enemies pop up around you so made progress on my challenges uh, there's only like 10 days left on the battle path event so I doubt I'll get I doubt I'll get any of these I'd have to play almost non-stop but I got a job to do did complete my con a contract but uh yeah I hope you enjoyed the 9p 16 uh 9p 162m cornet d1 if you did please like and subscribe uh thank you to those that already have and if you'd like to see a tank uh a tank in the game driven uh comment down below and if i have it i'll drive it even if it's one i've already driven i'm just here to have fun anyway i will see you guys in the next mission until then have fun